So guys, it has finally come to this. The final episode of our RTR Imperium Surrectum campaign as Sparta, the glorious Sparta. And honestly, looking at our empire, I'm pretty happy with how we've done. We've uh, taken the whole of Italy, we've taken the whole of Greece and Thrace and up into Dacian and Illyrian and Germanic lands as well. I think we've done a decent job. It's been a tough battle to get here. But even now, we will do some more conquering in this final episode. Of course, we have a battle ready for Carthage, which is quite funny because the only... The, the armies they have are all on Sardinia, enjoying themselves, chilling. Um, but we also have another couple of battles, don't we, to do. Let's have a look. Hmm. Now, the one at Halicarnassus, not quite yet. Pergamon's only one turn left to go. Um, did we not have another battle? Ah, we had this draw-out battle to do. And, yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. Two battles. Two glorious battles. Clear Naimon's back being happy. Some of these places are pretty upset. But we'll just have to juggle our... Uh, juggle our generals around, our good generals with more influence. Like uh, Ekamon. Ekamon is the best one with five influence currently. So he really just sorts out the public order wherever he goes. So as soon as we get one that's writing, we move him in, swap someone else in, and then hopefully it'll swap around writing and nowhere will rebel. Um, but yeah, by the end of this episode, guys, we will do a toggle fog of war. We will go through the faction rankings uh, and we'll reminisce. We'll reminisce about the days when we were a one province minor and not a mighty empire that we are now. But first things first, from one mighty empire to another, let's... Uh, Let's take down the Carthaginians. <laughs> and I think... I mean, I would normally auto-resolve this. But... I think it's it's Carthage, isn't it? We've got we've to fight it. It's Carthage. So, uh, guys, I'll see you on that glorious battle map. Here we are. Oh, it's a massive city. Yes, the sons of Greece. I uh, don't want you to be holding that. I want the archers, of course. Archer man, archer man, does whatever an archer man does. Hopefully, we get to the walls. I mean, it would be a bit of a disaster if we, if we, uh, if the siege towers get burnt to death. These are some big walls, though. I'm going to leave the ram for now. And the thing is, if we do take the ram, we're going to have to use someone as bait. Most likely this archer unit. To stop it getting burnt. Okay. Okay, it's not burnt. Yet. Okay, good. Glorious. Let's go, boys. Carthage. Wow, look at that palace. The Carthaginian design. We've not really seen this very much. It does look so cool. The baths over there. Catapult range. Grand Bazaar. Secret police HQ. It's like the Pentagon, but it's a square, of course. <laughs> The square gun. They're already up. Guys, yeah, come through that way. Uh, Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Uh, which way? We're gonna go like this way. That way is such a nice way in, isn't it? And what does he have? He has Magon and some Thoroy. We take you two, and it's a nice, experienced army. This group, you boys together. 
Let's get you in. Let's also get Protus. Okay, where are they going? Oh, they're going up the... Uh... Oh, you don't really think we need to come all the way around this way now. You guys get back. You guys need to take the gates and then this. That's theirs. Now it's not. Good. Now we'll come in. Protoss, my boy. Get in as well. I don't think we need any cavalry or anything. I think we're just going to be fine with those boys. Okay. You guys run. Speed it up, boys. Speed it up. Okay. Let's get there. Protoss the Great. What a great name. Protus the Great. And he has been glorious, hasn't he? Let's go, boys. Who wants to lead the way? Who gets the uh, recognition? I think we'll send you. You guys there as well. Protus, you can come here. You two. Mahind, we'll put you in phalanx. Speed it up. See whether they want to charge. Might have to uh, fight them on the on the square, which is fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but it, it's fine. We could both get there. That would be great. Protus behind. Come on, get moving, guys. Okay, now they come. Now they come. We're in phalanx, which is good. Now you boys, let's go. Get your dancing shoes on, boys. We are flanking once again. Oh, That's him dead already. And then we'll surround these boyos. Let's go box them in. Make them suffer. For declaring war on us once again. When they didn't need to. They were dumb. They're a very dumb, dumb move that was. Let's go. Yes, this is what we call the squishy box. Squishy box, squishy box. Oh, you guys halt for a second. You've gone a bit far. Now you guys can come through a bit. Would be good. Oh, we're just squishing them to death. Look at that. Oh, look at the numbers falling. Speed it up. Come forward again. Now halt. Oh, that was a glorious push. Ah, that's everyone. We lost 27. Well done, Phalangites. Doing really well. This one lost, killed 53 and didn't lose anyone. 43 for that one. Ah, glorious. Well done, guys. Carthage is now ours. Um, now, I don't know what I want to do with Carthage, but uh, we shall see. I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. Here we are. Glory be to Sparta. Yes. Well, uh, I think there's only one thing for it, isn't there, guys? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that was really full. So we exterminate 22,000. So it's nearly 30,000 strong city. Of course, destroy that. Um, in terms of everything else, I kind of want to... I kind of want to keep it, you know. It's, it's Carthage, isn't it? It's a rich city. How much money do you make? Oh, 3,300. No corruption here whatsoever. Probably because of that secret police HQ. Uh, what temple do they have as well? Special weapons. Uh, the Tophet of Carthage as well. The Bursa Hill. Well, we can't use that, and we can't destroy it either, can we? No. Oh, well. What have they got? Grain exports. 
cool. There's a very, very rich settlement. How many mercenaries are available? Oh, 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 oh glory day, my friends. Glory day. Uh, who do we leave behind? I mean, there's 16 of those guys there. Oh, they're still happy. With just 16 men garrisoning the city. And I think we take Hadramentum as well. How about that? How do you feel about that, boys? Yes. With the Ellies. Let's go. Oh. Well, this is a fantastic start to the uh, final episode. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let's get in the port so we don't get killed. Oh, we are spreading our wings far and wide, aren't we? Now, we have this last battle to do as well. So let's do it. Okay, yeah, they're a neutral faction. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about them attacking us, of course. But oh well. Pella's getting retraining. So is Ambrakia. Bylazora. Make sure we get those armor upgrades. Yeah, cool. Everywhere building. Should be. Look how much Greek we've got now as well, guys. So much Greek. Sardis is a uh, Greek already. Yeah, oh yeah, that's because it was owned by the Ptolemies. Ephesus is happy with Bacchus of Sparta. I think the Ptolemies are going to attack us this turn. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Our merchants is... Yep, there we are. Knew that was going to happen. It says that it's evenly matched, but it says that they're kind of in front. Got to remember, so what is that unit? That is a Theroporoi. So the general that's a Theroporoi, we need to fully kill so we can take the city. The rest of these guys... Uh, we should defend pretty well, hopefully. Hopefully it's a good battle map for us as well, but it doesn't look like it looking at the campaign map there. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the glorious battle map. Here we are. It's not too bad. It's just flat. Right. It's just flat. It's, it's not too bad of, of a map. Well, relatively flat anyway. Um... Can we see the city? That's the city, I believe. It's a. Oh no, that's the uh, mausoleum. There's a Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, what a cool battle map. Is that the city? Can't see the city. It must be over one of these hills. Yeah, we don't know where he's coming from. It doesn't really matter. Get you. Nicely spread. Lithoboloi. Cavalry. Cavalry is very damaged. Same as our archers, really. Actually, you know, our archers are, are okay. Our phalangites are quite damaged. Uh, he's coming in from the left. Apparently, the city's over there, but I do not see it. But oh well. It really doesn't matter. Hopefully that Lithobolo can fire soon. You get in there just so that I can... Wait, this Theroporoi is going a bit crazy, bro. You get the cab over there as well. Oh! Okay, Lithobolo. Stop for a second, please, bro. I don't know why they stopped moving then. That was a bit annoying. But, oh well. Phalangites, what can you do? Sometimes they decide to work amazingly. Sometimes they decide that today's the day they're going to mess up. <laughs> Get in there, boys. We need to fully kill these boyos. Do they not sense the danger that they are in? Come on, let's get match. Match up with the, the guys. Then we'll halt you. Yeah, about here. Straight in there, boys. Let's go.
Oh, instantly broken. Let's get there. Come on, kill him. Go through them. Kill them all. Oh, God. Your pursuit is so weak. Kill them all. Why is your pursuit so weak? Kill them. Now you can fire. There we are. You got trampled. Right, I think that's going to be okay. They do have cavalry on that right flank. Now, boys, let's get behind. Oh, good. Right, I think it's time you stopped. Unless you want to fire at them. Captain Ptolemy. How much more of an appropriate name can you have, sir? <laughs> you guys make sure we're back in phalanx mode. Just try not to do too much friendly fire, eh? So maybe shut these guys off. Oh! That was close. He's going for a little bit of a charge. What are you? Oh, the Agama. Hopefully experience wins the day. They're not as experienced as my guys. I wish we could get a gold. We've only had one person gold. Well, we fully destroyed them. And the general is a match arrived for, right? Okay. They're coming down this side quite he heavily. Let's uh, get you in the back here. Kill that general. Kill him. Nice. Kill the fool. Yeah, there, boys. squish -o these guys. The big squish once again. They're fast, the Siloy. You guys come down. Look how fast they are. They're broken, though. Kill like most of them. Fighting to the death, apparently, now. Well, we have obliged you in that. I'm sorry to say for you, but we have obliged you in that. Ah, uh, front lines here have crumbled. Now, squish. Oh, we've obliged these guys in that as well. These guys have got one left. One boyo. Yeah, instantly routing. Kill them all while they're all together. That's the easiest way. Now we'll charge these fools in the back. Then we'll charge this blob in the back as well. Come on, boys, with your glorious experience. Fighting to the death. Now out, boys, now out. Damn spot. They're all in there. They all look like they're fighting to the death. It's not exactly what we want, but it's something. We can let them go soon. Halt. Big charge. Oh, glorious. Epilectoi. Come on, Epilectoi. Yes. Now it's just these guys. Now we'll chase them down. To probably slow that down a little bit. Uh, then who's left here then? You're chasing them. Doesn't really matter. You can chase them. Yeah, that's fine. We will continue fighting to the death with these guys. Kill them all. Might as well. Get there. Come on, boys. I know the cavalry's tired, but... Uh... 
Now just march forward a little bit, boys. Crush them. Now halt. Oh, that was a glorious little push. Just killed them all. I don't think they're going to have many men left. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Poor guys. There we are. Oh, we absolutely destroyed them. Glorious. 160 for that phalangite. That is pretty good. Spartan General 96 as well. Glorious, glorious battle. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys, and we've been attacked again. Oh. Well, I guess uh, we fight this again. I just don't want to get stuck here just fighting battle after battle like we did on Sardinia. Uh, so if it comes again, I think we auto-resolve. Uh, but we shall see. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map once again. Here we are. So we, you can see we have taken damage. Wait, why is... Okay, yeah. Some serious damage. Yeah, the center's kind of weak, so... Move you guys in the middle. Bit more solid center there. Get there. They're attacking us, remember, so... Cavalry's kind of damaged. I say kind of, very damaged. You guys back again. You're going to be able to fire very soon, aren't you? Kind of at the bottom of a hill, which is a bit trash, but oh well. Doesn't look like they're getting reinforcements, so... Maybe they learned their lesson after this. Got to keep quite fat, because our formations... Need to come to like here. Got to put you on fire as well. Now just fire into them. Should be able to fire. Because they'll explode. And if they miss, they might hit some of these big blobs. God, archers with 130 are just... It's so annoying. I wish we had archers that had 160. Well, we do. We do. Uh, technically, we kind of do. We've got Cretans. Oh! 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 Okay, a lot of them got up from that. Oh, no! How can you hit there? I think we come forward. What are these? A oh, silo in there. Guys, I think we need to charge them, really. I don't get what they're doing. Like, why are they forcing themselves into a poor flanking position? We might as well just run through them as well. This might force them into action as well. I just hope we don't get another one. You better not hit our own men this time. Oh, just a bit too far. Let's get these guys. Imagine if our cavalry just got killed by our energy now. Oh! Oh! What timing! <laughs> Did you see that? Now, uh, we really need you cavalry to survive, so uh, let's get you uh, back. Let's start firing at those guys if we can. Those guys. So what are they doing? They're like literally just the most pointless flanking maneuvers I've ever seen. Do they realize that they're attacking me as well, or what? 
Yeah, fire at them. You come forward. Get there quick. Not got much cavalry, have we? But neither do they, so that's one good thing. Fire! Come on, boys. Oh, this is really going to be a tough battle. Um, I should probably move the archers back, eh? Go, 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 go. <laughs> they can soften the blow anyway. So they're attacking my weak side, which is fine. Just means we're going to have to flank a bit more. Okay, here comes uh, Zister Foroy. Get there. Let's get back. You guys get back as well. You guys get there. You guys get there. Is this an actual general? Nope. It's a captain again. I am the captain now. Let's go. Get in there, my friends. Oh, that's that's not great. <laughs> it's not something that's ideal, is it? Oh, these poor cavalry units that are so damaged. Right, oh, you need to halt, otherwise you're just going to die. We can kill this general here right now. Right here and now. Broken. Out. That's literally archers. Yeah, he's dead. Now into them. They're already wavering. Get them. Then we need to charge this end. This end is not good looking good. Uh, let's get the Greek Hoplites. They're already shaken. No, they're not shaken anymore. Now they're broken. Got to go f mass routes here. They're broken. Oh, good. Now into them. We've got so little cavalry now, boys. <laughs> the Gold Star for a single one cavalry. Now, if we can mass route these boys, this is all that matters right now. Someone's just broken. Out. They're all dying, the cavalry. Oh, well. Guys to get over here. Let's go. Get them. This side. If we, if we have another battle like this, we are... Like, our full army will just die. We don't have the cavalry for it anymore. Facing the wrong way. Yeah, we're, we've taken some serious damage. Right, Kellyas. You've done well for us in this life so far, my friend. Just need it to continue. Let's come. Come on, boys. Straight through. Yes, come through. Come through. Kellyas. Come on, Kellyas. Fight. There he is. At least he's out of the action. Now halt. Oh, it's turning into a mass route. We've got a single cavalry to pursue the enemy, and that's it. Let's come through a bit. I want you to push a little bit. Push them back. 
You guys are not fighting with your things down, which doesn't help. We've got mercenary phalangites. What is this? Now you turn around. You guys keep going. You're just all facing the wrong way. Oh. I want you guys to come forward. You can chase down the enemy. Okay, they're routing now. Good. These guys are still steady, apparently. Match your moys. Need you in there. When did I tell you to fire again? I thought I told you to stop firing. Get those Machimoy spearmen. Alright, speed this up. Doesn't need to be like this anymore, does it? Oh, they're all running now. Them. I think that's it. And then we just got to sort out these guys down here. Which we might not do, actually. <laughs> Phalanx them, come on. Facing the wrong way. Both of you attack them. Sandwich them. Okay, they're broken now as well. Good. How are the archers doing? Speed it up. I'm guessing they're withdrawing. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. No, we killed them all anyway. Everyone's just doing well. These guys, 151. Well done, Phalanx. That's really good. But I don't think any of our cavalry will be left to survive. And I think they'll attack again. And if they do, we need to go. So I'll auto-resolve it. Hoping that uh, Kellyas gets himself out of there. Our great faction leader. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Let's see what happens now. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Glorious. And we got the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. It's actually a really good monument for this mod because of the uh, long time it takes to build up your your sort of uh, culture buildings. Uh, yeah, like, t I think the third level's... There it goes, two, four, and then does it go twelve? Ah, Pergamon as well. Let's exterminate. Fantastic. We've got our little toehold on Anatolia now, don't we? Glorious. Kingdom of Pergamon's dead. Very good. Very good indeed. This army, pretty undamaged. I think this is a two army battle to fight this, honestly. We could just skip it and go straight for Igonion. Also got Ankira here. See how many kills. 42, apparently, that unit did. But oh well. It's enslave. It's a large city as well. Oh, we've got Armenia over here. Nice. We're coming into contact with nations that we have not seen before. Oh, it's um, the Galatian place. Uh, it's not exactly the, uh, the shrine that I kind of wanted. Civic... Building construction speed. Uh, cost and time. I mean, it's okay, you know. It's not too bad. We got a shrine to hear it? Yeah, we already do. Okay, Zeus. I'll take you up on that offer. Make sure we destroy this. Put them on low. Brand new lovely army. We need, like, some crypt here or something. You guys need to come there, fill that space, so then we can march south and cut off these fools. Because it looks like it's an Armenian line here. 
So I guess the Ptolemies just have these. Um, I mean, we've got to go for it. It's the last episode, isn't it? I think we've got to go for it. Pokemon's a little bit unhappy. What if we do this? Ah, fine. This will be a huge battle. Now, which one do we want to attack first, though? Hmm. There. And there. And then... Which army do I want? This one's a pretty bog-standard army. This one's definitely better. But less cavalry. Is it better, though? No, this one's worse. The other one... It just has a bit more experience, but less troops. I'll take this one. We could also be a bit sneaky. Yes. Oh! Imagine if we killed them all. They're all generals. No faction leader or faction heir. But yeah, if we fight a knight battle, it removes Captain Ethanodorus, which we kind of do want to fight on the field to take the city. But one sec. Do we want to fight him as well? See, I mean, it's, it's actually evenly matched if we do fight Captain uh, Atlas now he's called as well. But that amount of uh, that amount of pursue is going to be huge. I don't think we're going to be able to pursue them all. Hmm. Match him, boys. Uh, I mean, we've got to go for it, right? We'll try and pursue them all. If we don't take it, we will have greatly reduced them. Oh, no. Did I select AI or not? Oh, no. I wanted the AI to come in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we might lose then if we're coming in separately. Uh, oh, well. I'll see you on the battle map, guys. We'll try this. We'll try this. Here we are. There we are, nice and bright. What a weird battle map as well. Once again, what the fuck does this game have something against me? How many times do we have to fight uphill, bro? Well, I'm going to come to the left. It's a pretty nicely stacked army, this. And Memnon, Memon. Well, I think we take the hill. That's the first army. I don't think they'll bring in all three armies at the same time because I don't think the uh, game engine can cope with that amount of troops on the on the battlefield. So, and like we have all our troops down here, we will run. We need to get up on this hill. I think we can defeat this one quite quite quickly. Oh no, they have brought all three, but this guy's a smaller army. So I mean, I kind of think... I kind of want to take this area. If we can. Because I think they'll come and attack us because... We are... A lot. We have a lot less troops than them. But first things first, we need to set up. Oh, it's struggling a little bit with the amount of... Just the obscene amount of troops that we have here. We've got a lot. We've got a lot. Oh, there we are. And they're coming. They are a-coming. We're a bit tired. Of course we will be. But we'll get to have a little rest now. 
How are our archers not able to fire, bro? They're, they're, the range is just so poor. What a glorious battle this will be if we win this. Fire away, boys. Get yourselves a little rest, boys. You've earned it. And then I think we go here. And then I think we uh, go there. You guys stay on top of the hill. Get there, and then we'll get in phalanx, and we'll march forward as one. My boys. Oh. They're running away. Mm, don't know why. Now we go forward. Let's see whether they take it. Whether they take the bait or not. This army, I, I, I'm just thinking, it, it probably will die, or at least be very close to dying by the time this battle's over. So what cav do they have? Oh, Agama. Oh, God. Not the Agama. Never the Agama. Not even once. This is a nice little hillock to fire from. Yeah, our cav has no chance against that Agama. But we need to get it into the action. There's so many troops. What a huge battle. Get that. I mean, we're just going to have to take this fight, aren't we? If we get the charge off, that's a lot better than them getting the charge off. They're shaken already. A wavering. Get them. What is that? Prodromoy. Oh, they're fighting to the death already. Those guys are routing. That's what happens when you have no uh, generals. But where are all their generals? I think it's this army, is it then? Oh, yeah, they've got about 10 generals in that army. What are you? Arabian swordsmen. There's a lot of routing troops, isn't there? Let's see whether we can route a few more. Just run a bit rampant. Just go from from troop to troop. What is that? It's more Agama. God damn it. Don't want no Agama to deal with anymore. You guys out. Then. And we'll charge the back of this Agama. They're running against our pikes. Taking some battering there. Out. Oh, God. This cavalry is getting ruined now. Ah, oh, yes. Glorious. I think we joined the cavalry together now to fight this Agama. And I think we will kill it. We're doing all right. Not really lost many uh, phalangites, which is great. What are you? Matching my archers. I think we need to turn, boys. I think we need to turn. If we can kill this guy as well, we'll have a great chance of winning the battle. Like, I know our cavalry is weak. But we have strength in numbers, boys. Strength in numbers. God, what a glorious battle to see the uh, the campaign out, eh? Kill him, come on. Kill him. Come on. We've got to do it. We've got to kill him now. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Just kill him. Kill him. Oh my god, you idiot! How long does it take to kill this guy? God damn it, bro. Oh, and now he escaped. He was literally in the middle of you guys and he escaped. 
What a shocking embarrassment. You idiots. How... Well, it wouldn't be a... It wouldn't be a... Uh, a battle without... Uh, an episode without me getting a little bit salty, would it? Let me get you off that. General, get you in. We need you now. What is this? Three units of the Agama Cavalry. Now we've got to be so careful with our cavalry. With our uh, cavalry. Get over there. Oh, buzzing. Which general it is, though, I don't know. Oh, we've killed them. Problem is now, I don't think... Do you know what? We need to be over here. Ideally. You guys there as well. We'll go flank you. We've not got many flanking units, have we? Go, go, go. Kill them. Before they throw their jabbies into us and break us. So we're not going to be able to pursue the enemy very much. This poor unit is, is fully gone. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. Fire at them. Where's my general? We need you back across this way, boy. Uh, right. You guys, get off phalanx mode. And we need to come here. That's one of their generals is charging us. It's not ideal. Charging our poor archers. Okay. This is a huge block over there. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, we've pretty much cleaned up this side. It's, it's good. We just need to face this army. Which is also pretty big. Wait. The cavalry of the court ran away. Are you joking me? What were they what are they doing? My general's getting stuck in now. Let's get there in a nice fat formation. And fight those Greek hoplites. Yeah, turn your phalanx around. That's one of the generals as well. Wait, they're withdrawing. Well, yeah, a load of them are withdrawing. We're bringing some cavalry in. Where are my cavalry? Um, go and get them. Right, fight your way through, boys. Just go. Go get through that that morass of men. Where are we? Are oh, we here? How many have died then? A lot of theirs. We'll probably be able to do another battle after this, honestly. Cavalry, we need you to charge these boys in the back. If we can kill all their generals, that would be absolutely glorious, wouldn't it? That'd be just so funny. Another one's gone. And they keep running away, the cavalry of the court. Never seen that before. General's running away so easily. It's probably because we killed their other general, honestly, isn't it? Let's go. Squish these boys. Squish them all to death. The classic squishy squish. No! Not Kellyas! No, it's not Kellyas. Good. Oh, good, oh, good, oh, good. It's uh, Memon. I don't really care about Memon, not going to lie. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. Get those guys. Zeus, bring you, my boy. You can chase down some enemies. All my cavalry is running. Now you guys squish these guys in the back. You guys can do a bit of a better job as well, can't you? Now halt. Now you guys through again. It's a nice little block to be killing, isn't it? 
Kill them all. Squish them. You've come back. So, kind of want you to chase down the enemy. Beth are up, alright. Alright, you guys, let's bring you up. These guys just won't stop. They love to move. Even when they engage the enemy. Oh, just fight them, for God's sake. <laughs> Phalanxes are, like, unbelievable. But at the same time, so annoying. But sometimes... <laughs> No, you, yeah, you're not going to break through that, are you? No, we didn't need the second army, which is pretty good. I mean, a lot of our infantry is still really fine. I'm surprised it's not got more experience than this. Oh, they've got Agama in there. That's the problem. Let's get into the back. See what we can do here. I don't think we'll be able to route this Agama. But we can route everyone else. It's still, it is wavering though. Right now, out, boys. Out. A lot of them are routing. And apparently fighting to the death. We'll leave it for, for now. Seuss. Now we can charge them again without too much impediment. Oh, there we are. Glorious. Now out. I want 12. You go that way. 11, you go that way. Cool. And the rest of these guys need to die as well. Ah. Came back alive. That's just annoying. I think that's it. I don't think I want to do anything else. You archers. I think we let them let them leave. We killed an obscene amount of troops there for the for the losses we had. Wow. What a battle to end on anyway, guys. What a great battle. 2400 and we lost 600 uh, probably about 900. Wow, what a battle. Oh, Phalangites doing fantastic, but not getting experience, of course. Whenever they do well, they get it, don't get experience. Whenever they do trash, they get loads. So, uh, <laughs> Archer's doing really well. Wow. Good, 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 good. Glorious. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. So, a lot of them... Oh, man of the hour. I'll take that. So now we have Zuthos, five command already, <laughs> drill master, which is okay, but we need something to make up for that lack of morale somewhere along the line at some point, hopefully. But I guess you uh, can go and do that, or we could, right, no, lift that siege, lift the siege, go there, and let's just auto resolve that. Oh wait, they didn't. Oh, I still didn't take it. How annoying! I was hoping we could have taken it this episode. Uh, but yeah, we are very much sending the Ptolemies back on the run, and, and Anatolia would kind of, we'd have this section of Anatolia anyway if we were carrying on. A new son, heroic death, Memon, suitable husband. He's twenty-four. That's fine. And Tagaras is in Pella. Faction destroyed. Pergamon, fantastic. Dark Adava expands. Glorious. Wonder captured. Mausoleum. And marriage celebrations. Cool. Well, guys. Well, guys. Well, 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 well. I think it's finally time to start wrapping it up. There's one thing I want to do before then, though. Just do that, just for the lols. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid goddamn Carthaginians deciding to attack us, and now... What do they have left, huh? What do they have left? 
Their main city's taken. Their people exterminated. What do they have left? Not building here, are we? No. Build the Pantheon then. There was somewhere else we weren't building as well. Well, there'll be a lot of places now, but we don't need to worry about building now. Let us, guys, survey our glorious empire. Glorious, glorious empire. From the east, from Ankira, all the way to Carthage, and to the northern settlements of Italy, to the whole of Greece, we have conquered. We have conquered. What a glorious, glorious campaign. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I certainly have. Now, for the rest of the episode, guys, we're going to be toggling Fog of War, seeing what's out and about, how the AI's done, and we'll be having a look at the faction rankings and then all the stats. I think, first things first, let's look at the rankings and our sort of uh, our stats. So we control 70 regions. Pretty good. Pretty good. 97 family members. 199,000. Of course, that's before building because we've not built. We've got the second largest military. Highest ranking. Highest production. Highest territory. Highest financial. Highest population. We have all these enemies. Wait, apparently the Sarakis are our enemy. I didn't even... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Uh, we've got a lot of trade partners, but no allies. <laughs> no one wants to be our ally after exterminating half the map. And let's have a look at our ranking. It just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? And uh, let's have a look. We'll stick all factions in there. Military ranking. You can see... Oh, we're coming close to the Seleucids now. Very close. The Ptolemies dipping down. They will have had a huge other dip if we don't put the rest of the end turn as well. Now, is that the Suebi? The Suebi doing... They were doing well. Now, a huge dip as well. And who is that red? Is that the Aravachi? Yeah, it is. The Aravachi. Nice. Production ranking. We are just outstripping everyone by a mile and have done for a long time. Territorial-wise, we've played a decent amount of turns. Probably like 140. 45 turns, it looks like. So we've played a lot of turns in this campaign, guys. A lot of turns. Territorially, we've been... Since about 96, we've been the largest nation. So we've been the largest nation for a while. Financially, we're just destroying everyone else. Look at that. Wow. Look how steep. It's almost exponential. But we did come up... We struggled for a bit for 30 turns or so. Then bang. Straight upwards. When we hit that sort of tipping point that you always seem to hit. Then we started recruiting loads more and BOUM! Straight back down. And then we sorted it back out with some conquest and straight up. Population. Yeah, we're outstripping everyone by a long way. We've got over a million population, guys. That's pretty good, I'd say. And overall, once again. Let's have a look at our finances. So, we make about 300,000 a turn. 300,000. 300,000, guys. Uh, we spend about 170, but it's actually it's actually more than that because we've not done our building. So probably add another 50,000 onto that, I would say. But 300,000 a turn, guys. It's pretty good. Trade, by far, is the largest. 166,000 from trade, guys. 166,000. Mining, 27,000. Farming, 26,000. Merchants, 3,000. Yep. <laughs> and taxes are only 47,000. Wow. Wow. So the trade is by far our biggest asset. Um, so in terms of our expenditure, our it wages for uh, generals and admirals and agents, 7,100. Not too much. Not too much. Mainly on the generals, of course. I'm willing to spend money on them. Army upkeep. We've got uh, 130, well, 129,500 army upkeep, guys. That's obscene. That is a large amount of army upkeep. Uh, recruitment, of course. And construction, of course, that would be higher. And then corruption and the like, probably 14,000. So not a huge amount of construction. Uh, Healer archers, we've got... 53 of those. 
Now you can see the different types of uh, of armies we have. Uh, 8,600 on those. Let's find our, yeah, here we are. The Neo Damodias Phalangites. 84 of them, and they cost 30,000 a turn. The Perioikoi Phalangites, 47 of those, they cost 18,000. The Spartan Cavalry, 47 of those as well, and we've got 6,700. That's quite cheap. Uh, the General, 7,000. Cryptia, we've got 85 of those uh, at a cost of 24,583. And the Triremes coming in at 10,000 as well. Oof. Some good stats to have a look at there. Very nice indeed. Fantastic. Um, very cool. Lots of turn expenditure. Let's have a look at our family tree for one last time. Fire's died. Oh, no. So we've got two different family trees, of course. We've got the one from Arrhaeus. So we've got Acrotatoes. Potatoes are lewd. We'll have a look for any of our glorious generals. Memon's just died. Midi lost the Morbid. <laughs> so, of course, Acrotatos was a good general. Aratos must have died. Oh, he was assassinated. Theos, of course, a great. A uh, great uh, manager. Alcamenos died in battle, surely, yeah. Uh, but we have Kellyas the Just, who's now our faction leader. Great boyo. Very good boyo. Eotrocles, a good boyo as well. Olus, Echopolis, of course. Prinatadas, nice. Ificlus, some of these I've never even seen or, or even bothered to look at. Uaimon, great general as well. So some great... Uh, Great generals down this side. How about the other side? Of course, Arrhaeus as well. Eudemidas, great guy. Cleonimos, our glorious guy. He died in battle, did he? Wait. I just remember seeing the message that he died. I, I didn't realize that I killed him in battle. Or maybe it was in the auto resolve. Oh. Mausolos. Yeah, some of these. Protus the Conqueror, what a glorious leader. Dolon, Nicandros the Lude, what a glorious, glorious leader as well. So lots, lots of glorious leaders on our family tree. And it's getting pretty big for our two family trees right now. Getting pretty big. Getting down to one, two, three, four. Getting down to the fifth generation now. That's pretty good. Cool. Awesome. Now, is there anything else we want to look at? I don't think so. Uh, before we do the Toggle Fog of War. Um, well, we could have a look at which, uh, how many settlements we managed to get to be Greek. Um, we can't do that uh, here, can we? So, let's, uh, let's have a look on the building roster. So, pretty much all Greek... Well, then we start coming to the Italic ones, but a lot of them are now Greek as well. Croton's now Greek. Uh, Suggestica is Greek, that's good. Capua is now Greek. And Ariusia on this island, not many Greek. Mytilene, where are you? Ah, across the river, yeah. A lot of Phoenician. Sardis is Greek, however. Halicarnassus is Greek, Pergamon's Greek, and Kira's Greek. So we've got a lot of culture converting to do in Sardinia and Italia. But it started, and we started that that culture conversion. Because Capua is already Greek, look. And so was uh, Croton. So these places should be uh, converting very quickly now. Yeah, 10% more. Venusia, how's Venusia doing? Yeah, 5% of Venusia. Pistum. Yeah, 5% there as well. So, good, 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 good. Very good indeed. Um, and I'm so glad we took these two little places just at the end. Oh, just to piss off Carthage because they have been a bastard. They they betrayed us. They betrayed our trust in everything. So, uh, Clean Imon, are you converting to Greek? Yes, you are now. Yes. Rome will be Greek. Rome will be Greek, boys. Oh, yes. Live safe in that knowledge that Rome will be Greek. Anyway, let's uh, let's see how the uh, AI has been doing. So there's the fog of war, boys. 
And honestly, some of the AI have done fantastic. Some, some have done terrible. Um, so let's have a look at Carthage. Because they've been an enemy a couple for, for a little bit now. So we destroyed their main hubs, obviously. It looks very much like the Massilii are going to just destroy them. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing, Carthage. If you lose to the Massilii, that is hugely embarrassing for you. They've got some armies around, but they've also, of course, lost um, the southern tip of uh, Spain, Iberia. To uh, the uh, Aravachi, who, of course, always seem to be very strong. Always seem to be very, very strong. Very strong when I fought them as Carthage, of course. Ah, oh, glorious, guys. Yeah, Massilia. Carthage is, is pretty much done, isn't it? It's pretty much done. They have Garama and uh, Leptis. <laughs> well, that's not going to save them, is it? That is not going to save them. Oh, well, I'm glad we... Uh, Aided in their decay. Obviously, Carolus, they're sieging down Carolus, but it's not really a problem. But Aravachi, once again, very strong. They've not yet crossed the strait, so a bit surprising they've not done that yet. But they've consolidated the whole of Iberia, and they're into southern Gaul as well. But the Gauls, the uh, Arverni, are here. Still, no one has taken these lands, and I don't know why. What, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Not the Suebi, not the Gauls, not the Bretons. This uh, this rebel tribal uh, coalition has uh, beaten them all back, apparently. But I see. I think the Ara uh, they seem to be going the other way. But the Aravachi, if they wanted to, could could basically become the predominant power, barbarian power, if they wanted. Um, if they took the whole of this, they would. That would be an epic battle between them. And uh, the Suebi, it would be epic. The Bretons have taken their damn time, time the Iceni, to do anything. They've not even taken Aluana yet. Yeah, Alauna, Alauna, probably Alauna. They've probably not taken. They've not taken Alauna yet, which is a bit shocking. They've got Camelodunum, which is a large city. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've got any huge cities. They're all large cities, so they've just been sat playing tall, which is weird. They could have come across and taken them. Oh no, they they are fighting the Suebi over here. Why didn't you just take these lands first? Then a nice springboard against the Suebi, but oh well. So let's have a look at the Suebi. They've not taken Scandinavian settlement yet, but they do have a pretty big empire. They're pretty strong, as you can see. Lots of troops. Uh, actually, less troops than before. It's probably because we've destroyed a few of their na uh, their their armies. But they look they look pretty strong, honestly. Now, is there a settlement in here? In this big wasteland? Um, I can't see one. I mean, it has trade goods. So am I just being blind? Or? Or does that count as this as well? I don't know. I can't see it. Maybe it's a hidden settlement. Well, anyway, uh, the Suebi are pretty large. They spread. They've taken the whole of Germania. They've pretty much restored the German Empire here. Looking at their, <laughs> looking at their, uh, their borders, uh, they pretty much have. Uh, yeah, all the way up to uh, to Riga, pretty much. Nice, 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 nice. Very good indeed. Well done, Suebi. You were a, a fierce adversary. And quite an annoying one, if you've watched any of the other videos. <laughs> when I say quite annoying, very annoying. Very hard to fight. So if you're fighting the Suebi, look out, guys. Obviously, Massalia have kind of the Alpine, em Alpine Empire right now. <laughs> Spanning the Alps. Weird. But Massalia, I swear Massalia just is somehow... Oh, there's the Serakis, look. Oh, How is this rebel as well? Serakis are still going. But how does Massalia survive? How do they not get attacked by their neighbours unlike the... Uh, unlike us? 
we just get attacked by any neighbor that, that sits next to us, even if they're allied. Whereas the Vesalia can neighbor four nations, five nations, and not get attacked. I don't know. And not expand as well. So, well done, Massalia, for, you know, becoming the Alpine Empire, but ultimately being a footnote in our history. Um, Bosporans. Bosporans, of course, they've done fine. They've done fine. Not too bad. Um, not too bad. Done pretty well, honestly. Um, but they're just chilling. They've not done a huge amount. They've done okay. And that's all we really need to say about them, isn't it? Um, but let's have a look at Armenia. Armenia have done really well. They're a pretty strong power right now. Wow, big Seleucid army over there for some reason. Quite a long way away from their lands. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, Armenia is doing pretty decently. Good armies everywhere. They're probably pushing into Seleucid territory, I'd say. And they've pushed halfway down Anatolia, so well done. Of course, we have the Greek city-state still here. Uh, they've been in and out of uh, uh, living for a, for a few turns. For quite a lot of the campaign. But they survived to the end. So all you Greek city-state stands, you can uh, enjoy that at Heraclea Pontike. They are alive. With Parmenia of Gortina and uh, Isocrates the Cunning. So I guess that's why they've survived, because he's so cunning, he's kept them alive. The Ptolemies, they've been cut off uh, over here, and it would only be a matter of time for us before we completely took this region if we carried on playing. Not much resistance left is though after we destroyed those armies in that glorious battle. Um, so not much resistance left, we would have cleaned that up quite easily. So Armenia's done well. Well, then let's have a look at the Ptolemies. So they have come down here, taken out Kyrene. They've not pushed into uh, Carthage quite yet. Some Mosca Flaca down here. Mosca Flaca Popolis. Mosca Flaca Polis. Popolis. But Garama and uh, Leptis are the Carthaginians. But the, uh, the Ptolemies, obviously, they're going to have a strong base down here. They've come all the way down to Moreau, taken uh, down the coast. They've not come down this coast, though, to take their Arabian settlements. Uh, unlike the Seleucid. No, the Seleucid start with those, don't they, I think? Uh, but yeah, the Ptolemies, they're doing okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Seleucids, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Looks like a general's convention over here. With a bring-your-own-army. <laughs> Requirement dress code. Oh my god. Well, I see why they're the strongest nation militarily right now. Got Seleucid armored elephants in there as well. They should be pushing. They should be pushing. They could easily take out the Ptolemies right now. Easily. They've got the Ptolemies have these three full stacks, and pretty much that's it. Four full stacks. How many full stacks do you have here, Seleucids? A lot more. So you should be pushing, bro. You should be pushing. Um, and we would have taken them out from this side. But yeah, the Seleucids. I'm honestly impressed they've lasted this long. They have not fallen apart to the state that I uh, originally thought they would. They are getting pushed back by Bactria now, as we can see. Quite severely. Um, but they've, st they've kind of survived. They've survived a long time. 100 and, uh, what did we say? 140 turns? So, uh, yeah. They've done well. And they're pushing this side. Obviously, that eastern edge is slowly falling to the Bactrians. Um, but, yeah. They've done well, honestly. They just need to be a bit more aggressive in the south here. To take this Egyptian territory. Um, and try and push back the Armenians at some point. But yeah, they, they've done well. And Bactria. Bactria's done really well as well. They've not expanded to be massive, like in terms of um, settlement size. Uh, but they do, have a, they do have a large amount of territory if you look at the square footage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very, uh, very well. They've, they've survived. They've beat back the Parthia. And the Sarka 
have really not done much. For a nation that starts off with pretty much some of the strongest, most OP units in the game, they're noble horse archers. They've done nothing. Um, but I guess they're kind of hemmed in a lot. But yeah, they've really, really not done much, have they? Well, Sarka, you are a disappointment. But they've outlasted a lot of nations anyway. They've managed to survive. That's what they've managed to do. They were not the horde from the east, though. But I think that's everyone. I think that's everyone and everything, guys. And we're just going to zoom out and have a look at how a glorious empire, how it looks on the map. Glorious empire over here. Obviously, the Seleucids, they have more square footage, but a lot less built-up areas. Um, so I think we have won. We are the glorious, the most glorious of Spartan empires. And our empire comes all the way from the Bosporans, from Bastania to Carthage itself. Zugitana and into Anatolia as well, as well as the northern Italy. We have served the world well. We have done a lot of conquering. We destroyed the Romans. We're pretty much on the way to destroying Carthage. And we uh, unified Greece for the glory of Alexander, of course, um, and reclaimed his capital as our own, uh, becoming the successors to Alexander. And I think we've done that well. We've gone a different direction to him, but it's a very developed direction. Rather than taking swathes of undeveloped territory like Alexander did, we have taken more developed territory in the West. Well, anyway, guys, it's finally here. It's finally here. Uh, and by the time you watch this, the Seleucid campaign will probably be out a few episodes in. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying that, and I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this campaign as well. It's been a pleasure for me. Thank you to everyone who's watched it every episode. Thank you to everyone who's been commenting on the episodes, watching them, enjoying them, liking them. And can we get a like and subscribe for this final episode in this glorious series? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always, and I'll see you again in the next video.